Hi, I'm Dr. John Kaufman, Redwood Equine Practice, Santa Rosa, California. He was worked up yesterday for lameness. Um, with heel nerve blocks and abaxial foot blocks, it, it cleared up his lameness, but digital x-rays show that he had severe navicular changes and the beginning of osteoarthritis, DJD, in his pastor joint. Today we're going to block his abaxials again and then sterilely prep the pastor joint for a therapeutic injection of corticosteroids, hyaluronic acid, and amicacin. Classic therapeutic injections, they help decrease inflammation with the corticosteroids, they help lubricate the joint with the hyaluronic acid, and the uh, antibiotic is just a precaution to ensure that we're doing a sterile joint injection that we want to have all the precautions possible. They all work synergistically together. Oh, oh. There's the joint fluid. As you can see, it's hemorrhagic. So we are in the back pouch of it. This is um, compatible with having early osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease. So we have hemorrhagic joint fluid. So that was a direct injection into, into the pastor joint of the, the pouch behind the pastor joint. You good, Jorge? Mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna... I got it. You gotta watch that needle. Yeah. Okay, good. Super. Huh. Super. So, that tells us a number of things. One, we're absolutely in the right spot in the pastor joint, and two, there is osteoarthritis happening because we have serosanguinous joint fluid. So that is diagnostic in itself, too. Now, three days from now, when this has had the opportunity to take effect, marinate, if you will, we should see some good pain relief. And so that's why we're doing this. Logically, inject the passing joints first, see our effect there, and then for the endovicular disease, decide if we're going to use tildronic acid or zoledronic acid. The is that uh, if we can decrease the degenerative joint disease progress, if we can just provide some lubrication, some anti-inflammatory medicine in there, that uh, by the time we see the effects of that, then we're going to feel much more confident in giving him systemic children or systemic zoldronate to help out one, his navicular disease, and two, his degenerative joint disease of the pastern, and three, he has a couple other issues that I haven't mentioned. Uh, it looks like he has some tarsitis, some inflammation of his hocks. So, uh, he's unfortunately a chain of weak links and we're trying to address each one at a time logically to get him in the most uh, productive, pain-free, highest quality of life that he can have.